Mm. So I was trying to do, uh, trying to watch my morning dewer after watching a Christian video as well. Um, then the post arrived and distracted me, uh, which is Crown Agents trying to hurry me along to comply with something that's already in hand anyway, because it's already been done. Um, right, let's just ring this number, see if I can get through to them. I'm recording the video, so I've got proof of it. <coughs> Welcome to Pets at Home. In order to route your call accurately, please select from the following options. If your call is for our vet team, please press 1. I Welcome to Companion Care Vet. Please listen carefully and choose from the following options. Press 1 if you have an emergency. Press 2 to book a routine appointment. Press 3 to order repeat medication. And for everything else, please press 4. Here Good afternoon. Um, I've just received a reminder letter from the government, but I can't find my um, proof of neutering for Willow. Um, what was your surname? It's Paul Hobden. Okay. Okay. It's only because of this government reminder letter. No, no, so. don't worry about it. It's yeah. Fine. No worries. I've got until June. Yeah, the end of the month mm -hmm. anyway. So I'll get an email to them. Yeah. No worries. Okay. All right. Lovely. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Sorry, I forgot to unpause it. Yeah, because I've got so many bills, letters and everything like that where I've been juggling my finances to sort out the compliance for the dog fence and everything else uh, so the dog doesn't escape um, or jump the fence, which obviously you see that's getting manipulated. I've now received a letter from the government about XL Police saying... So you know, um, it doesn't apply to the staffies because they're terriers. So I don't need to worry about that. And that's provable in court. Um, yeah, it's only Willow I need to worry about. Um, yeah, uh, Lola's um, my son's responsibility. Um and everything's being dealt with on that as well. So there's no problem. Um, it's just, it's government fucking, you know. Well, what have I got to do with it? Let's have a look. Contact the vet to arrange neutering if your dog has not been neutered. Complete the confirmation by neutering form with your vet. This can be issued, can be found on blah, blah, blah. Even if your dog has already been Noted, we need to receive the completed form. Uh, send data. Oh, send DEFA the completed form on or before. Now to do this on the next page. If you do not submit the form by the deadline, your dog could be seized by the police and you could be prosecuted please book an appointment with your vet as soon as possible yeah 
and all that's been done, I've just phoned the vet, uh, they're sorting out a uh, form, it's being left on the shelf for me to collect on Tuesday, uh, so that's already taken care of, right, who's it got to go to, dogs in indexing team, Defra, um, Yeah, my dog has been neutered, but I haven't sent my form to DEFRA. What do I need to do now? There's publishing services going to be dot media. Vet me, yeah, do, 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 form. You must send the complete form to DEFRA on or before. Yeah, where? In complete form, you must email a scanned copy or photo of the form to X. Now, be neutering at defracom. Oh, fucking hell. I need help to uh, send an email now, don't I? Because unless I get sent an email with a reply thing where I can just write something and send it, I don't know how to do emails because I'm a tech nuffobe. Dog certificate right now. Right, I'll ask my son to help me with that. Dog's in text, make me form. Oh, I can send it, but... Mm, do I trust that or can I I'll do both and then it's done I'll send it by post as well I'll special delivery service keep a copy of the form and post it to yeah so keep a copy of the form so if I keep a photograph of the uh, thingy um, and send the information um, that's all done and then I don't have to worry about it it's all got to be done by the 30th of June so it's well enough time to do it yeah look at that fucking gin sitting on my computer screen now it's been buzzing around my head while I've been trying to listen to the religious things and it's settled on my computer screen when I'm getting distracted by the crown and the fucking government so there you go, get the fuck off my screen. Same as them bitch ass fucking adverts that keep popping up with animated games that are all of women um, swallowing men in the games, either through their heart or through their bellies. And I just, as soon as I'm able to, click on that skip advert and blah, blah, blah. But it's all distractions while I'm trying to listen to uh, a bit of education. So there you go, that's all that sorted out, it's all in hand, there's proof on there for those monitoring my accounts, okay, so I'll upload that. Other than that, it's, um, might as well go into a quick video, innit? Um, no problems at all when I let the dog out, out of routine today, I didn't let him out until I was ready to, um, no problems at all. No neighbours fucking about, so I don't know if they've heard, they heard the warning and everything and they're just laying low. Um, I'm not worried about it, though, like I said, because I'm not doing anything. So it's all, you know, return to sender stuff. Whatever they're doing against me, I've just returned it to sender, alerted the landlords to it and quite happily stepping back now and letting it all go leaving it in the landlord's hands. Um, I've sent the same information to the police as well because I'm I'm aware that there's a third setup, so I've covered myself legally as well with it. I'm not in any rules or compliance breaking. Um, the dogs are all legal. There's no problem now. They don't attempt to jump the fence, even when provoked, so they can't use that as antisocial dogs. Yeah, because they've tried and they've failed with it by encouraging another dog in the garden, which is what she's been doing all along. It's not the first incident with another dog coming from her garden, the same as threats of violence from her garden. She knows exactly what she's doing and oh, I'm just not interested anymore. So, you know, she came out, give it a quick smirk as if to say, ha, ha, ha. You know, so I said like uh, out loud to the lady I was talking to, as apologised, and just 
you know, had a quick chat about the dogs and that and showed her the antisocial behaviour letter. I said, notice how someone's come out behind you to see what we're talking about. Have a quick listen. Uh, I said, so I'm going to make a remark so you can hear it, hear it, but I'm just winding her up. And I said out loud, yeah, the landlords have said, like, any more messing about from that fall, and she'll be off to an old people's home. With that, she's gone indoors and slammed at her door. <laughs> I said, I'm only winding her up, but it's making her stop, think, and assess what she's doing. You know, other people are noticing it now, um, and I'm simply not interested. So... I explain that's the reason why I don't talk to any of the neighbours now because I don't know who I can trust, who she's involving in it, so I'm keeping myself to myself and keeping out of it. There you go, that's the end of that matter. Um, as you can see, all the doggies are nice and calm and laying lovingly on my bed. Young Holster's a little bit restless. He's been off his food for the last couple of days, but I don't know if that's because he fell out with his brother and he's anxious about it all um his behavior towards his brother has been a little bit different so um both dogs are being cautious of each other at the moment you know because their energy is bouncing off of each other but they live in the now they don't hold grudges normally so marnie's projecting a little bit more assertive energy as he you know um He's been on Willow's back, but Willow's been neutered, so uh, she's probably coming into season again, or getting close to coming into season, um, and he's acting accordingly like a dog. Um, but they're both staffies, and he's laying by his bitch, look, and she's been neutered, so it's all good. Yeah. Hulkster's a little bit anxious because the bitch he's chosen is Lola and Money. You know, he tries to boss both females and it upsets Money, uh, upsets Hulkster because he's not as assertive as uh, Marnie. He's more reactionary from anxiety. So, yeah, all their little face wounds have cleared up now from their little scrap. But all brothers fight. Like I said, when I was uh, recording a video about it the other day, um, this is the first time I've spoken about it in full. I laughed and joked about, um, you know, that, that's what happens when brothers fall out and all that sort of thing. Um, there was unknowingly to me, a situation going on um, mm, it did end up in police involvement and uh, yeah sorry the envelope touch your leg did it it did end up in police involvement not for myself um, and you know people were phoning me up to check to see if I knew anything about what was going on and I no, I said like my instincts are telling me he's um gone off on one. Um if he's followed suit from what he did last time when he was pushed to that situation, he's probably gone out, got off his head and probably got himself in a little bit of mischief. And uh, I was talking about the dog fight at the time, and that's what actually happened when it all, when the news all came back to me, and we found out what had actually happened. Um, yeah, my instincts were correct. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm I'm keeping all that information down to a bare minimum, so I'm talking cryptically about it. Um, but yeah, there's no problem. Um, it's just the authorities stepped in and said, well, you know, looking at your past, you've uh, been through this once before, so we're telling you now, you've got to stay away from that person. Um, and, you know, so, uh, yeah, 
he's doing what he should be doing. He's all uh, back on track. Um, yeah, that's all I can say on that matter, really, without offending him or talking about his business publicly in a video. Uh, but everything's good. Um, while all this situation's going on, I'm going to uh, have a chat with my doctor um, about officially putting him down as my part-time carer uh, because I need one. I'm uh, having trouble with my hands. I'm dropping plates um, when I do the washing up, which is why the washing up gets left. Um, you know, it's a, a thing I can't get around. Um so I don't feel embarrassed by the state of my kitchen at all. I can only do so much myself in my disabled state. Uh, currently, I'm having to focus on the uh, garden and improving the dog security. And, you know, because of the public scaring about XL bullies, I've got a secure defence line because other people are playing on it. Saying, oh, they're dangerous dogs, blah, blah, blah. They they cause no one no problems in the garden. Um, they might bark the same as any other dog. They make no attempts to jump the fence. Um, even when they're purposely tested to do so. Because they're being encouraged to do it. So the police can be called. Okay. Um, I obeyed on command as soon as I rushed to stop any of that simply by grabbing hold of Marnie um, Hulkster took the high ground onto the piece of mud ready to jump the fence yeah to protect his female um, I told him no you dare jump that fence, I will beat you. And he hesitated, listened and obeyed. I then ushered them all, shouting at them, get indoors. And they, all four dogs, complied. With a bit of forced aggression in my voice, saying, get indoors. You know, they listened to that as the woman drug her dog to the back of her van. We then talked as humans, and she didn't have a problem with it. I didn't have a problem with it. But I told her, you know, you, you know, this is what's happening with the neighbours. If, if you was called out purposely to come and do it today in the morning, before I'd let my dogs out, then obviously I'm going to let my dogs out for their first pee anyway. And if I hadn't checked that you was out there and heard the dogs bark to alert me to that, and I've been on the toilet or something like sometimes I've normally done, then the dogs would have taken charge of the situation and protected. And it would have ended up like that. So if the woman thinks to herself, this is the gardener. If the woman thinks to herself, well, I was actually called out this morning by her, so am I now being used, like this man said, I said, be very careful of the people you're dealing with here, because you might be, well, you might be being used in the situation. If she thinks, well, I did get a phone call this morning asking me to come out and do it particularly in the morning, then she then knows that she's been used because I've had my property being watched and my dogs haven't gone out yet. And the neighbours know at some point I will get up and let my dogs out by habit without going in the garden with them, which is what I did. So they've been watching how I do things, which is watching my routine, which is spying on me to work out my routines to use against me, which was how the first setup happened. Yeah, so I don't follow routines now because I'm wrong footing the people that are doing it. I don't walk the dogs in public because I'm not having the dogs used as a setup just to set me up legally. 
So they've been wrong footed there and it's all coming back to the person that's been instigating the whole thing, which is her. So I'm leaving the landlords now to uh, deal with that. I want nothing to do with the situation. I want to live in peace with my neighbours. So I'm not harassing them. I'm speaking the truth when I speak about them. Yeah, in a video or anything else. I'm going out of my way not to point any cameras if I'm recording and have a problem that I'm discussing on a video. But that's what's actually happening. But they're twisting it and making it out as though I'm harassing them when I'm not. I'm simply blocking the world out with music. Um, even Mr. Murphy's aware of that because, you know, when he's having a private conversation with his relatives in the garden and I don't need to be hearing it, I'll put the music on. And he knows that's not being done against him. It's me blocking out the world around me so I can relax in peace in my own garden uh, but it's not being done against him or anything else it's simply me blocking out the world which is a I've seen women do the same things and it is a sign of abuse where you don't want to hear anything you just want to focus and relax and heal yourself so I know that's the, that's normal behaviour you know, I do check my own behaviour by watching other people's, how other people react. And I've seen it myself when I've been out and I have empathy for that person. You've heard me talk before about uh, a young lady at a bus stop uh, when I was out shopping one day. And because uh, there was uh, me and another guy who wasn't anything to do with me at a bus stop. Um, as soon as the girl arrived at the bus stop, she turned her music up as if to block everything out. And she was doing it on the bus as well. Um, the bus driver kept uh, complaining to her. I said, look, as a female, you should understand this. I called her to one side. I said, look, not being funny. She's just come from a bus stop with two men she had no idea who they was she turned her music up straight away to block out anything that the men might say to her um as a woman you should understand that i'm taking that as a sign of you know she's trying to block the world out it's possibly about abuse in her life and please give her a little bit of understanding as a woman uh the bus driver then went and had a little chat with the girl again and I don't know if she apologised to her for what, you know, being so harsh with her because she was just being a a woman, you know. You know. I'm not being listened to, so she created a little bit about it. Uh, but she did actually go back and talk to the girl um, and then came back and thanked me for um, pointing out what I'd spotted. Um, so I don't know if the girls started getting teary-eyed and all that sort of thing. I don't know because it was all on the top deck of the bus. Um, but these are little things that I've learnt in life. So, you know, um, yeah, I use the same thing, which is a sign of abuse as well. Uh, I block the world out with music as well. So it's exactly the same thing. I'm not doing it to annoy anyone or target it at anyone. I'm using it to block the world out because I'm I don't want to hear I'm not interested in anything anyone around me has got to say at the moment because I don't know who I can trust so I keep myself to myself which is the right thing to do um today I'm just going to be resting up and eating properly um I've run out of certain things at the moment but I'm working around it I don't need butter to make myself a bit of toast and bovril, do I? Because bovril's wet. So it, that on soggy toast will be sufficient for me to eat the toast. Uh, so I don't need anything like that. The milk's just started turning, so I'm quite comfortable drinking black coffee. Um... I've run out of sugar and sweeteners as well now, so I cut down my coffee use. <laughs> I'll be drinking squash and water, if you see what I mean. Um, 
I woke up in a good place this morning. I went to bed in the same mood last night as well. Um, yeah, someone was getting a bit stressed last night. Um, but as soon as he'd come back with uh, a couple of cans and some ciggies, he was all right. He started calming down and that. He was going into a bit of a negative thing because his money wasn't in there straight away. Um, but when he got up this morning, it was like I said to him, don't do your own head in about it. Just, just get yourself to sleep. Calm yourself down and everything will be all right in the morning. And it was like I said it was. So, you know, he's all right. Um, yeah, we've been getting along great. Um, there's been no problems at all. He is, he is like his mum in the morning, which we can't do nothing about. That's just his mother in him, isn't it? Um, she was a bit of a mildy bastard in the morning. You know, she doesn't like people waking up and smiling at her or being happy in the morning. It's just like, mardy. Oh, stop fucking watching telly till late and go to bed, isn't it? Go to sleep. If you're exhausted, don't fucking do it, isn't it? Your priority in life is your children, not the fucking TV. <laughs> Whether you miss something on the TV or not, it don't matter. They're all fucking repeats anyway, aren't they? So, there you go. Um, but yeah, he wakes up like that most days. But that's his mother in him. I wake up usually in a positive mood. Same as I've woken up this morning. I'm a bit hyperactive at the moment. For me two coffees, I'll try to utilise that into doing something today, but um, I'm going to have myself a bath, um, change the clothes, cook myself something nice to eat, I'm going to have a nice curry today, I've got a few curry sauces in the thingy, um, I've got a fence panel arriving today, if uh, if the email's uh, truthful. But yeah, that'll be the second one. So that's the first bit of the fence done. I can take down that bit that's behind those two panels. Um, put the two new panels up. The neighbour's not fearful of my dogs anyway. He's a dog person. Um, I don't have to worry about the dogs jumping the fence there. Um he knows how I'm doing the fence with trellis and that on top. So first I'll get the panels up. Then I'll put the trellis on top uh, with the gravel boards underneath it. But it's a case of juggling my finances at the moment to get it all done. I'm not going to do it or have anyone helping me because it's my responsibility. Um, and I'm doing it bit by bit around my disability. So all good. Um you know, that's my little struggle in life. Um, yeah, you might hear me whinge about me knuckles seizing up and having to stop it, but that's just me getting frustrated about my disabilities progressing. Um, yeah. Um, shall I do the bedhead look or not? I don't know. I haven't looked in the mirror. I'm not that <laughs> ego driven if you see what I mean. That's just run my fingers through me head. That's just strike me head out a little bit. I don't know if anything's gonna be sticking up. As you can see, there's a state of peace and love in my house at the moment. And yeah, it's not too bad. Like I said, I didn't look in the mirror. I'm not that ego driven. Um yeah, I was looking at the vets, as you heard on the thingy, just for the contact number. That's all sorted out. So I've had no tobacco at all for the last couple of days. Well, the last week, really. Um, and switching over to the vape was, yeah, quite easily done. 
I've already gone for a bowl of vape juice this morning. Uh, plus, my carer had a few goes on me vape while he was uh, waiting for some money to go into his account to go and get a few ciggies. So, uh, yeah, but I'll the odd uh, do what I've had while I've been out and about. Uh, well, while I've been out, um, cause that's the only tobacco I've had, and you know, it's not making me want another dude straight away afterwards for the tobacco. Sorry if I keep looking away, but you know, I do that when I'm talking to people eye to eye as well. It annoys people because they like to see your eye contact and all that. Um, but I've had my antidepressant this morning um, they're doing their job um, my vapes sorry I keep getting a fucking moustache hair in your fucking mouth that I can taste and it feels like a dog hair in my mouth but it's not it's just where I need to trim up the edges isn't it you know what I, mean? I feel quite comfortable with this appearance at the moment it's growing in nicely um, I don't get a full growth on this side, like I said, which is why I'm letting it grow like this. Uh, because of a head injury I sustained as a child, which uh, a, a teenage girl on a swing when I was uh, about four or five, because uh, I was hyperactive. My mother used to keep me on reins. Um, I slipped the child reins if you see what i mean and ran straight in front of a swing as a girl came right down from a teenage girl came right down from the top of the swing and it hit me there um it literally broke my nose uh, i've got a pinch scar there that came from the same thing so the pressure of it hitting my head full pelt uh broke my nose which caused that um split my nose in those days um i nearly died that weekend actually that that was the first experience of glimpses ahead of time and the sli manifesting that's when all that began all right from that head injury so it rewired my brain somehow um and it was um, I think a gift to help save my life in the future because that parent wasn't focused on that so it manifested that way and it's been the same ever since um, having a uh, impact on a head injury has affected my sight in that eye ever since um, like I said it affects the fear of growth on that on the side of the face as well. I don't get the full beard growth or anything. Um, so this is as good as it gets and I've never had a beard before because of that. Um, it's only because I, in prison, started growing one because we weren't allowed razors and things like that. Um, and by the time I did get a razor, I only used it to, uh, you know, trim my fringe and things like that. Um, you know what I mean um, but I got comfortable with that appearance as soon as I came out of prison my, my son told me to shave it off you know what I mean so I just shaved it but I've got to a point in my life now where I don't really give a fuck about my appearance and people can take me as I am or they can leave it um, I'll get grey patches in it but for my own self confidence I'm not trying to hide my age or anything like that because I leave my head alone. Grey hairs, white hairs and everything. Um, but the beard. You know, if I'm going to keep it, it's... Well, okay, I usually wear a hat. As you know, either one of these or a body count hat or a black hat or whatever. It's... Uh, I'm one of them people that don't brush your hair every day. I just sort of, yeah, sticking out on it. 
not that vain, I don't need gel, I don't need this. I could smart myself right up and go on the pool if I wanted to, but that's not a priority for me in life. I'm not that driven by my bollocks anymore in life. So, yeah, I don't need a woman. I don't need to prove that all my bits work in life. So as you get older, you don't feel the need to go and pick up women, if you see what I mean. And it gives you more time in life to not get distracted by that in life. Um, so those womanly ways don't work on me unless I want them to, if you see my point on that. Um, no, I don't have any weird urges or any kinks in life. Um, I've been single for a long time. I don't jack off or nothing like that. So, you know, I don't have no weirdness in my life. If, uh, if I look at a woman and think, oh, that's nice then uh, I focus my mind away from that straight away because I don't need that in my life. Yeah, if uh, I don't watch porn or anything like that, uh, because what's the point? I'm just a single guy. I'm going to wind myself up and then crack one out. Yeah, so I just don't do it. I'll keep my mind right. I look a beauty. But I don't look twice. That's how I was advised by a Muslim man once who was just a taxi driver. He said, there's nothing wrong with admiring the beauty that Allah created. If you look twice, then that will tell you that you're following your sexual desires as a human and you're not looking at the beauty then. So I held that in my mind and I thought, yeah, no, no, that makes sense. So, you know, even if it's a young lady, I'll still look and say, you know, she's going to make someone a lovely wife in life. And I'll see the beauty in life. I don't see a pair of tits, a nice pair of legs. I'll see the beauty in life, you know, and that's how I live my life. No, I'm not batting for the other team or anything like that, so don't get it twisted. Um, and my relationships that didn't work out in life, I look at them now as lessons in life. I thank the mothers for the children that I've been given by them. And if ever they need the help when they're in a difficult position in life, even uh, the ex that holds you know i'm not gonna say grudges but it didn't end well and she doesn't look upon me favorably whereas um the mother from my first uh born's relationship um you know she was an older woman and uh, uh she looks on me as a younger version, if you see what I mean. And it didn't work out, that one. But I'm still friends with her. Don't have no problems. I've never had to intervene in her life. Um, only the one that's uh, that has bad memories of me, if you see what I mean, when I was wayward and had drug problems. So I'm being honest about it. Um... I don't stalk people or anything weird. Um, like I said, I'm uh, I'm quite happy with my single status. Um, I I upset myself a couple of times uh, while I was in prison because I was thinking about a future partner and uh, that may have been on the cards and I was trying to stay true to that uh, because I've been completely honest with that woman but she ended up with someone else while I was uh, in prison and um, yeah, I don't look on that as 
anything bad or you know but uh, I upset myself because one of my children's mothers did pop into my mind but I found out after I got released from prison what that was all about she tried to use that level because my son had gone off the rails and he was worried about me committing suicide in prison which I'd threatened to do and I had took the uh, drugs into prison to do exactly that and they was hoping and praying that I wasn't going to do it um, and I thought about my children and I couldn't do it but I'd already done it once in court and survived it which was you know well if the creator saved me from that when I took that leap of faith and I did take enough to kill a herd of elephants so I'm um, very surprised and shocked that it didn't work and when I spoke to my father the following morning about it because I told him I was overdosing and took too much in court to end it um, when I spoke to my father in the morning just to let him know that I was still alive. I said, yeah, I feel a bit different today. Um, almost like someone else has walked into my body um, and it's not the old me there anymore. I feel different like that. And he went, whoa. Um, but that's what I was taught about the Muslim faith as well, if you uh, commit suicide, then you're just, your soul is just transferred to another body uh, for you to carry on living the lesson of life. And uh, yeah, so who knows if that's what really happened or not. I don't know, but it's uh, since I took that leap of faith and handed my life over to the Creator, rather than those trying to judge me in that courtroom, it saved my life. Because I literally said, you judge me. Not these people, you judge me, whether I live or die. And I survived. What can I say about that? That just confirmed my leap of faith, and I don't push it down people's throats. Um... I share stuff from both religions because I'm comfortable being that hybrid. Um, yeah, 42 minutes worth of video, so I'm not going to witter on because I'm hyperactive. I'm still in the same clothes I've been in the last two or three days. Doesn't bother me. It's my own company I'm keeping. I don't have to prove anything to anyone else. Um, it's all part of the depression, isn't it? I just believe. I'm comfortable with myself. I don't worry about people judging me. Oh, I'm having a bath today, so... You know, as children, we used to have a bath once a week and washes and... So it's nothing different to when I was a child. It's just when you're an adult, you have more testosterone in your body, so you pong a little bit more. Simple, but... I'm not worried about that. The dogs are all calm, still, having their pack cuddle. Um, Hulk says, let me just put his little ears are going where he's listening to me. Yeah, um, he's waiting for his dinner. Um, the other dogs aren't bothered about it because they all get their fill. Hulkster's been off his uh, dinner a little bit. So's Marnie, since they had that little falling out. Um, but they're okay. Looks like my uh, headphones are fully charged now over the back now. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. I'm not going to whitter on about nothing. Just to fill up video time. It's just a diary entry to my uh, personal electronic accounts. And that's how I use my social media accounts. I don't do it for likes, clicks or views. So if I see negative comments on one uh, video while I'm getting positive uh, comments on another video coming at the same time, 
like I said last night, I uh, I look at it as it could be a troll account from the neighbours that are doing this to me. So I don't worry. So um, motivational. Um, yeah, I enjoy those videos. I'm looking straight ahead while I'm talking, uh, rather than looking into the camera because no reason. That's just how I talk. I don't focus into people's eyes when I'm talking to them. So this is just me being myself. So if I look into the camera now and talk honestly, um, I'm not trying to avoid eye contact. I don't do it with people to avoid eye contact. I just don't feel comfortable doing that. Yeah, if I've got something to say, I look away and say it. Uh, because I don't want someone trying to stare me out and feel uncomfortable by staring into my eyes. I don't do it to other people to give them evils. Um, I just prefer not to do that. You know, most people like you having eye to eye contact with them. Um, but I'm ADHD and my mind wanders a lot, so I can't keep eye to eye contact all the time because my mind goes off on different tangents sometimes um, and I am being honest just right up one of the one of the dots ahead so it's nearly dinner time so my mind gets distracted with the ADHD but I've been like that since I was a child um, I've just learned how to deal with it over the years and because of that head injury it turned from being hyperactive into the SLI, that's what actually caused it. It was a serious head injury that nearly killed me that week. Um, but in those days, you didn't have um, CAT scans or anything to check for head injuries. You was just stitched up, or oh, stitched up that side, stitched up there, and then sent home again. Um, and I can't remember that much more about it, um, but at the same time, uh, where I was living, um, I used to live next door to a police station, and I've looked back on the situation and checked and researched it, because I needed to find out what that light was that came through my bedroom wall, um, which gave me that first glimpse ahead. Um, and like I said, that has stayed with me ever since I was a child. And it got released in that courtroom when I was taking the overdose because it couldn't stay in my body any longer. But I was carrying someone else's soul that had been kicked to death in that police station, I found out. That was the light that came through the wall trying to escape the brutality. And that's when I got that first glimpse ahead of time. Um, uh, like I said to my father, um, it's almost as if something else has walked in. Walked in um, but in that courtroom, like I said, that left. So it was just, just the me then. Does, does that make sense? So there wasn't two inside me. There's there was just the one left, and that's why I felt different. Um, because that person was kicked to death by the police. Obviously. It bided its time and took retribution on the leader of the system. Hmm. Now, I'm confident in saying that because it wasn't me using witchcraft or anything like that to uh, cast a curse or anything above them because I'd already handed my life over to the creator when I was taking the overdose in the court that I should have died from. Um, 
so obviously because of what I was doing and the way I'd handed my life over um, that was separated uh, from what I, what I was carrying and what I could feel within myself um, I'm being truthfully honest now which was why I was looking ahead while I was trying to remember and talk about it like I'm doing now um, that's the truth of the matter um, but it did turn out that the Queen died after London burned and then the Pope that was present through the last bit of her reign as well died a few weeks after or a few months after and it was all over by the end of the year so it was very rapid how it all unfolded I'm not claiming personal responsibility for it or anything like that or bigging myself up because I'd handed my life over to the creator so it was the creator all right not myself that made that possible and that happened and as uh, most people will agree if uh, if they know anything about both religions nothing happens without the creator's blessing or say so or by decree so that's why that happened simple as that i can't explain it any other way as a human being but i'm not claiming responsibility sometimes i joke about it but i know ultimately from what i've learned through my uh, religious education that I'm still educating myself on um, I know that that is how it actually works so yeah let's have a squirt on the way eh? so I'm just squinting to look at how long the video is it right it's 51 minutes worth of video so I'm going to leave it at that um like i said i'm in a good place today um there's been no repeats by the neighbors this morning it is been day everyone's in it is totally silent around me so if i've been talking to myself this morning while watching videos the walls are paper thin um yeah I'm now recording the video like I said so I'm explaining all of that there's been no problems out in the garden nothing out of place this morning because they're aware that they're being watched themselves if you see what I'm saying so that's took the pressure off me because I said it out loud stop what you're doing now because you've been caught out already and other neighbours are noticing what you're doing so you've already given yourself the way by your actions I'm not bothered about that now I've left it to the correct people to do it okay um, yeah I enjoyed listening to the tarot reading last night because it was very spot on um, yeah these are the types of vapes that you can't do at an angle or you end up drinking the vape juice if you see what i mean so they're supposed to be used like a shisha pipe where you keep them upright and you just gently if you like you know hold it at an angle like that and then you're more or less drinking the vape juice out of there and that will fuck your head so that you know even when my carer had to have a couple of goes on it last night i said make sure you hold it upright or it leaks uh, vape juice into the air filter which is telling you it's also leaking it into the mouthpiece and you're drinking the fucking vape juice and um, so if you use it correctly it, it, it works fine it's dealing with the nicotine withdrawal what can i say um, I'm going to keep that going until I source myself a bit of herb discreetly 
um, because I prefer smoking a dupe more than I enjoy using the electronic vape which is currently in the front room um, because it produces a lot of waste um, which I'm not really that sure how to process but it can be turned into CBD oil if you cook with it because it's been carboxylated and activated it's activating the CBD oil in it so it can be reused like that in your food or whatever just to you know you can grind it up and use it as a spice in your food or whatever but I prefer not to do it that way until I'm comfortable and know that I haven't got the tobacco addiction which like I said I can take or leave the tobacco now the same as I can the uh, cannabis so no I'm not addicted to that either now this is simply working so that's a good thing um, yeah I do suffer from a lot of internal pain from various disabilities and it works for me I don't advise other people to do it but I do show people how to do it legally um, and try to show them how to do it through clinics which like I said my doctor's trying to get it done through the NHS now uh, so we're actually forcing change uh, whereas um, doctors are so I'm trying to think um, doctors are happy working with the clinics now as they learn how to self-educate themselves on it and work out how it's done they then have to pay for their own training and license to be able to prescribe it which is what the stumbling block is because doctors contracts have been had their wages lowered so um you see what i mean yeah they either uh get paid for referrals the same as they would um for prescribing medications for drug companies um you see what i mean so doctors are uncomfortable paying for their own retraining and they're doing it the correct way where they're learning from the people that are prescribing it legally um and up in their game which it increases their income to top up their benefit uh their wages by picking the brains of the ones that have actually uh gone through and got their license to prescribe medical cannabis if you see what i mean oh moved over here to give your man a cuddle because he's laying a bit too close to oh beautiful girl are you all right or are you getting hungry you want some food do you yeah, Martin, uh, Hulkster's been patiently waiting there for his because he's been off his food for a couple of days so he's starting to get hungry and wanting me to stick to my to his routine but because him and Marnie have not been eating their food properly since they had that little squabble I'm just watching the dogs behave if you see what I mean and checking on their welfare that way because um, I've got the I've had the camera I said and was going to say I've got the camera on to watch the front of the property for the delivery but um, yeah everything's good um, 
yeah, I'm in a good place. I'm going to try and... I'm out of plates, so I've got to do the washing up. I tend to leave it and tend to leave it till I've got to do the washing up because of my knuckles, mm. which even first thing in the morning, that's my right hand. And my left hand's even worse. That proper sticks. <laughs> and it's painful when it releases. So when it happens when my hands are in the washing up or uh, um, it loosens my grip and I can't grip plates, cups, cutlery. Um, and I drop shit. Yeah, it's starting to become a real problem. So I tend to avoid doing it and leave the washing up until I have to when I run out of implements to cook with. And if my hands are still playing up, I just cook, I just wash up and clean what I need to. Sorry, I've got sleep in my eyes. Um, I leave it until I run out of things. Right, I've gone over an hour now, so I'm gonna wind the video up. Um, have a lovely day. It's Friday, whatever your belief is in life, whatever your situation is, I hope you have a lovely day. Um, have a lovely weekend if you're into the football um, the, Euro, the Euro Championships begin today um, I'll be watching it on a football link oh sorry I forgot to be watching it on a football link on my computer not live TV because I don't watch live TV so there you go Nah, you come back up to remind me you want your dinner, have you? Of course you have, little buddy. Go on, I'm just coming to do it. Who wants some dinner? Who wants some food? Yep, your appetite's back as well, is it? Right, you boys want your dinner. Do you girls want some food too? You've only got kibbles today, but you've only got a few days to wait and then I'll start getting some tins of meat in for you. Okay, so you make do with your kibbles. Everything's good. The boys are obviously hungry today. Yeah, they're still being like brothers. They're trying to get along, but every now and then brothers fall out. It's the same. Oh, my fucking knee. Fucking hell. That hurt. It's just kneeling on me now, so it's crunching and popping. Right, let's get the dogs their kibbles and move into the front room. Um, or I might just stay in bed. I don't know. We shall see. Right, let's feed me dogs first. Then I'll end the video. One bowl. Ah. Another bowl. The girls two empty bowls. Uh, like I said, the girls are eating more at the moment because the boys are not uh, eating properly. But it looks like their appetite's back, so all good. I'm going to make myself some bovril on toast in a minute without any butter. Dog food's running out. It's, um, it's okay, I've got pasta. So, we're not gonna go hungry. While they're not eating their dinner, I've uh, cut down the size of the bowls a little bit, just to eke it out a bit more. But it's still getting a, a bowl full. Right, tomorrow they're going to have uh, pasta and kibbles. But today, they better all eat their dinner. Right, I'm getting sciatic now, probably now, leaning over. So, I'm going to wind the video up and get to the toilet a bit sharpish. So, have a lovely Friday, folks. Thank God it's Friday.